three, uh, 384 or 380,000 kilometers away. So when you send an electromagnetic wave from here, that electromagnetic wave will become extremely weak once it goes to that 400,000 kilometers. And that weak signal, you have to work with these weak signals, and from there itself, you have to operate all the electronics and, and do all the operations there. So you have a, almost zero margin of error in your initial calculations, in your initial electronics, in your initial setup, in your final uh, this ground signal control. If it is, even in a slight, very slight error anywhere, it, uh, uh, it, it may end the whole mission. So that is why we all are uh, excited, we all are uh, uh, the, the the pulses are going high, it's not normal 72. No, we are all at the back of my, my mind, I am always thinking what news I am going to get in the next 15 minutes or so. So that is the background in which we are at this moment uh, <laughs> working. Okay, so let's uh, forget that and come to uh, this uh, mission. So the, I think we can still reduce the light. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
driver change of uh, guard. So at intermediate three, four stations, even Radhani Express has to stop. So if we have to go beyond the moon in the solar system, perhaps we should uh, make moon as our first base. And if uh, some refueling can be done right there, and we don't have to take everything from the earth, if oxygen is there on moon, and it is there, right? Uh, we, we learned from our uh, elders that uh, there is no oxygen on moon, therefore people cannot live on moon. But now we know that the oxygen is there not as a gas, but as solid. Okay, there are not many oxides there, silicon oxide and all that. So if we can uh, have some oxygen from there, if we can have some helium from there, not to bring uh, at earth and then put in our own nuclear <coughs> reactors, but uh, uh, to refuel our own spacecrafts at that stage, then we don't have to carry everything, all the oxygen and all the hydrogen and all the silicon. So use will, will once we know how to uh, how to handle these things and uh, uh, we develop the technology, the use will surely come. Now let's see uh, how much uh, of how much we know about our next door neighbor. Because I thought that uh, if it is a next door neighbor, we should know everything about that. But I don't know. That's not possible, and that's not you're not the natural. Because uh, I thought, do I you know my next door neighbor 330 or 330? So I, I answered my question that not yet. I know the name, I can recognize the person, but then uh, I don't know the, 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 his father's name or his mother's name or from which uh, in which towns his relations are uh, are living and after retirement what is his plan. I do not really know my name next door neighbor. Then I thought uh, so much more. Do I know myself? Then uh, I start thinking that this is a question which uh, many of our philosophers and many of our uh, uh, saints and rishis and mentors uh, <coughs> they ask a, a man, a person, do you know who, are, who you are and why you are? <laughs> it is a very difficult question. And therefore, as much knowledge you can gain about yourself, about your family, about your neighbors, you should. Now, moon uh, has two faces and several faces. Okay? This is near side and this is far side. Do you know about this? Uh, because all the time, from the earth, you, so, you see only half the moon. Right? The other half you never see. No month of year and no day of month, you see that other half. That is because of a very peculiar uh, coincidence or some scientific uh, reason behind it that the time period of uh, moon in its orbit around the earth happens to be almost exactly same to the time in which it spins about the axis. It's not like Earth. Earth spins in 24 hours and Earth takes 365 days to orbit around the Earth. But Moon spins in 27.3 days and Moon also orbits the Earth in 27 point, say, same amount of time. And therefore, it's something like this. If you, if you have a Moon here, this, if this is the Earth and this is the Moon, and from our time seeing only this phase. So it is rotating this way, at the same time it is going this way, and they are so synchronized, it goes in this way. So all the time, you are only seeing the same phase, and therefore you have a near side, and you have a far side, and if you can see, the structure seems very different. Here you have these plain areas, not, not much of plain areas, Whereas here you don't have those, those that much of the area. So you have uh, two different uh, surface compositions. Uh, totally different this way and this way. So that is the faces and then you have phases. Uh, 
Ah, e assim, 